Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today our inspiration for our design is actually this really nice hamper. Now, this was given to me by someone who was moving house. They were trying to get rid of a lot of stuff, and they basically thought I could do something with it. Now, great for a picnic, but also great for making a flower design. So what I've got is I've got a nice pot inside with some chicken wire, and we filled that up with fresh water. And uh, I'm going to use a stick here just to basically prop our lid open. I don't want it fully open, uh, even though this chain would keep it, but we can use the stick just to put it on a nicer angle. So this is going to be the base for our design today. And <laughs> I really just think of like a, a basket of flowers like this as being informal, summery, uh, just quite fun and um, the main flower that we're going to use in here are some sunflowers. So these sunflowers are quite interesting, they're all shapes and sizes so they're a bit of a mix and sunflowers will definitely perform better with going straight into water. They're not so keen on going into um, floral foam. But because these are quite big and heavy, we're going to place them first. So as you can see, the, the wire, the chicken wire, just gives us a good base and good support for our flowers. And they've actually got quite interesting stems, quite interesting um, shapes. So these were from my garden and it was actually a great big, um, great big plant that's created like a multi-stem, which is interesting. And the good thing with multi-stem sunflowers is you can actually cut one or two uh, and leave other ones to develop if you want. So you don't have to cut the whole thing. You can cut it and come back to it when some of the others have come into flower. So let's just get this one sitting a little bit better. So we've placed our main flowers into the design. This one will probably get a little bit more support from some of the other materials. But the good thing about doing these now is because they've got thick stems, it's a lot easier um, to actually place. Now our secondary flower for here is going to be these beautiful yellow roses. And these are just um, like a normal rose. So I'm just going to an angle that in. And actually these have got quite nice foliage on them. Normally I quite like to put foliage in first, uh, but over the years I've started to realise that actually you don't necessarily need as much foliage as you think. And uh, if you put in some base foliage and then just see how it goes and see what's needed, you'll probably find that you use a lot less than if you pre-fill uh, pre it with foliage. So, I think these roses just make a nice secondary flower for our design. As you can see, they're just a nice colour and a nice complement to the sunflowers. <laughs> now, another thing that I got was some of this pampas grass. And again, this was a, a friend of mine was cutting it in her garden, was going to put it on the compost heap, and then thought, well, I know someone who would like them. So I was really happy to get them because I think they just add another uh, point of interest to this design. It's just going to give a little bit of a contrast. And we don't want to overdo it neither. What's quite nice about it is it has these kind of traily bits that have dried. I think we'll bring one just 
just in the back there that takes your eye through it. So essentially what we're creating is a long low design, but this is really our focal area here. And then we want the, the movement of the flowers to come out from our design. So another excellent flower to add is some solidago. And the solidago is just going to give us a contrast to the heaviness of our flowers. Now you keep disappearing, but that's okay. Actually, I don't mind that. I think sometimes with uh, a flower, if it points backwards, that can be quite nice. So what you're doing is as you're placing your flowers, you're just looking at the stems, how best they'll go in. If this one's got a little bit of a bend on it, so it's going to be able to come in here and sit forward quite nicely. So as you can see, the solid eagle really gives a good contrast. And I think we'll have just a little bit up the back in here. So this is an ideal arrangement for making it home and uh, it would look quite nice on a table in a hallway or in a living room. Uh, somewhere that you can just really appreciate it. Now I've got some nice Germanies. And again, these are in our same colour palette. And as you can see, the chicken wire works really well. You just have to put your stem in and just let it find its way. And uh, you don't want to be pushing it in with any force and finding that you're breaking the stem or that it's getting damaged really um, by the actual chicken wire. So if you feel a bit of resistance, just give it a little twist to one side or the other and you'll probably find it will find its way. So like here, yeah, yeah, perfect. And that is really it. So essentially, We've just used really some flowers from the garden. Uh, we've got some beautiful roses that are bot flowers and the same with Germini, but the sunflowers, the pampas grass, the solidigo, they basically were in the garden, but we've managed to create quite an eye-catching design. It's all gonna be quite happy because it's in fresh water. And really this is gonna look very attractive on a sideboard uh, in a hallway, for example. So I hope you've enjoyed today's design. Maybe you've got uh, something like a hamper that's lying around that you could make an arrangement in as well. So thank you for watching. If you've not already subscribed, then click here to subscribe. We have new videos all the time and would really love you to join us for our next design.